This is a continuation of part one, Intermediate Symbolism, and we're going to look at the Eye of Horus, also known as the Eye of Lucifer. We begin again with the most famous Satanist on the planet. He's now dead. His, this is Aleister Crowley, and we see that he has a triangle uh, with an eye in it. And this is the Egyptian style eye, as you can see here. It has illumination around it. This is the Eye of Horus, and so this is a Satanist wearing the Eye of Horus. This is a closer image of that. We can now look at the Great Seal of the United States. This is the reverse of the seal. We see this eye with the illumination around it. We see an Egyptian Babylonian pyramid. This is very uh, identifiable as an, an Egyptian pyramid. Anuit Coeptus. Our undertaking has been approved or our undertaking has been crowned with success. Novus Ordo Seclorum. New Order Secular is where we get Seclorum of the World or New World Order. So their undertaking uh, has been approved and the undertaking is the New World Order and we can see that the New World Order is an Egyptian Babylonian World Order. Therefore this eye has been disguised to look like a regular eye when in fact it is the eye of Horus, the Egyptian eye. We can make that logical conclusion. In the occult, Egypt is uh, revered and we can see the Great Pyramid is also uncapped. Another uh, thing to note is that in the Bible, Egypt is quintessentially a place of bondage. And so the story of Moses and them bringing out him bringing out um, the, the Hebrews out of Egypt, this is a great story in the Bible. And the Bible, God says, I brought you out of Egypt, and therefore Egypt is representa a representation of bondage. We can see here this child's uh, toy has the correct interpretation of the eye on top of the pyramid and the Egyptian style eye. You can see here the eye in the triangle. Alistair Crowley has written or in the interpretation of it the eye in the triangle as well. Again you can see the Egyptian pyramid. You can see the reverence for science. I know it sounds like a good thing but I'll tell you what their science is, is in a in a different category, uh, but scientists revere, uh, many scientists are into the occult, and you'll see that a little bit later. Uh, this is not the Illuminati logo, but somebody on the internet has made this, and I thought it appropriate just to understand that they've put the Egyptian style eye there. Now, going on to the entire seal itself, this is the front side of the seal, this is the back side of, uh, I'm sorry, this is the back side of the seal here, and this seal was put on by Freemasons. And FDR was responsible for this. 1933, he began, uh, or they legislated this to put the seal on the dollar bill. In 1935, I believe, around there, it first appeared on the dollar bill. He is a Shriner Freemason. Uh, you can see now the Shriners wear this Islamic fez. It is an Islamic uh, style hat. You can see now this Shriner also. Shriner to Shriner or Freemason to Freemason has a distinct handshake. We'll see that a little bit later. You can see that the knuckle is pressed against, uh, or the thumb is pressed against the knuckle or the knuckle area, and there's different knuckles uh, de depending on different degrees. You can see here this Shriner Freemason has the word Islam here, and you can see the Islamic connotation uh, and symbols of that. Uh, even the Isl Islamic sword, crescent, moon, and star, you see that in Islam. This particular uh, hat that uh, FDR is wearing, I believe it says Alma, um, but some say Allah. Uh, there's all references to um, Islam. Now, the front of the dollar bill was placed by um, uh, Freemasons, and so there's the number 13. Now, with the esot or the exoteric meaning, the outside meaning, is that the 13 colonies. Um, we're founding this nation. I believe it's not a coincidence that we had 13 colonies uh, that founded this nation, but we have 13 leaves, 13 berries, 13 arrows, 13 uh, stripes, 13 letters in E pluribus unum, uh, 13 stars up above. Normally, the number 13 is an unlucky number, and uh, in fact, in the Bible, it is a number of rebellion. So Revelation 13 is about rebellion, and in Genesis 14, uh, we have uh, 
12 years they served and the 13th they rebelled. So I'm giving this this reference to 13 being a number of rebellion. As an architect, we don't even put, put the 13th floor in a building because it has such a negative connotation. Now this is the New Age magazine which is the Freemasonic magazine. It's since been changed to the Scottish Rite magazine. The New Age movement is a uh, direct result of Freemasonry through Theosophy. Theosophy is Luciferian doctrine so we can understand that the mysteries uh, or the mystery religions Luciferianism is the New Age movement. And so you have here the New Age magazine. Night this is April 1960. And you can see the Masonic symbols on the dollar bill and the reference all to 13s. Just to prove to you that 13 is a number of rebellion, uh, if you look at the Hunger Games, this movie, uh, the 12th district is the one that competed, which they followed the uh, the competitors in that movie. But remember the 13th district was the one that rebelled. And so these writers, everyone in the industry, they know what this represents. And so I just, I'm, please bear with me and understand that things are owned and operated by this religion and they know exactly what they're doing when they write things. So you have this occult symbolism uh, on the back of the dollar bill, literally satanic symbolism, and I'll show you the uh, a reference to uh, between um, uh, Horus and Lucifer that they are synonymous. Okay, here we have the Freemasonic uh, logo uh, and emblem. This is the square. I'm sorry. Here's the square. This is the compass. Now remember uh, the some of this uh, symbology, but we see the um, the uh, eye with the illumination around it. This is the eye in the triangle. These uh, symbols are the same, and we. Uh, as the outsiders get the exoteric meaning, which is the eye of providence, where they get the esoteric meaning, which is the true meaning, which is the eye of Horus or the eye of Lucifer. And I'll show you that uh, 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 synonym and that connection uh, in the uh, later part of this plate. But looking at this also, I just wanted to make you aware that this compass represents the male aspect above, and this uh, square represents the female aspect below. So heaven and earth, male and female, and so we have the uh, pointing up and pointing down. Also you see the uh, uh, brotherhood handshake, that's not the actual handshake, uh, it's just been disguised. And you do see this G, we'll see that later, that's the generative principle, which really is this sexual union between male and female. So we have uh, that illumination, and you can see the similarity of the illumination on all of these Examples, we have here uh, Freemasonic uh, uh, references. Now they are claiming not only that seal, but they're claiming the pyramid and the use of that pyramid with their square and compass. Here are Freemasons with the pyramid, and you can see the eye and the triangle at the top. This is uh, the Holy Books of Thelema, which is Hermeticism. And this is Aleister Crowley. And so he was into Egypt, of course. They revere Egypt. You can see the Egyptian eye in the triangle. This is Ordo Luciferi on the internet. You can see the use now Luciferian doctrine with the eye in the triangle. This is important here. This is MI5 British Intelligence logo prior to 1955. You can see not only is the letter I at the top of the pyramid, but the I shape is at the top of the pyramid. So we can come to a conclusion here, and I'll throw this out, that if it's on your money, and if it's in on British Intelligence logos, they literally own everything and that is not an understatement mom and pop shops fine you can own them but as far as major corporations and countries they are owned and operated by this and we can understand that uh, Satan in the Bible has dominion on the earth now and these are his kingdoms when Jesus was tempted uh, the devil took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and, and told him that uh, he would give them uh, to Jesus if he would worship him and Jesus did not refute that so there is a an understanding that Satan currently has the God of this world the ruler of this world and has dominion of this world and therefore these kingdoms are his kingdoms currently 
So we have the Information Awareness Office. This is uh, the Department of Defense, and this organization is responsible for information, uh, i.e. Facebook uh, and everything that's done on the Internet. Here is George W. Bush and his grandchildren with Barbara Bush, and you can see that he plays with this Illuminati pyramid, Babylonian Egyptian pyramid uh, with his grandchildren. This is um, an acronym, Mason. You can do this with this type of star here. And then, of course, that is the satanic hexagram, and we'll get into that connotation. Um, it has a, a meaning uh, even on certain flags in this world. So going, moving forward, it is a secret organization, so this uh, Freemason has chosen to blot his uh, face out, secret society, but you can see the all-seeing eye or the Eye of Horus there. This is Aleister Crowley as a Freemason, a young man. He's in Freemasonic regalia. And just wanted to show you that he is a decorated Freemason. You'll see uh, older pictures of him later. Aleister Crowley and the Aeon of Horus. So you're seeing his connection with Horus. This happens to be the demon that he channeled and was in touch with. And I forget his name, but you can look that up on the internet. Look up Alistair Crowley and this particular demon. Looks very similar to the alien or greys that we have all come to understand and know. There is Horus with the serpent on the head and the sun. The Aeon of Horus is a, is a heavy metal um, rock band. So you can see here uh, that reference and you can see the uh, pyramid in the background and of course Aeon of Horus this is important because you can see that there's a pentagram back there so now they are both satanic and uh, representing Horus this is a Freemasonic tracing board usually these tracing boards do not have uh, letters on them but you can see that the eye is referenced to Lucifer and so that is the eye of Lucifer now proving what what um, uh, the connection between Horus and Lucifer. This is the Lucifer rising ritual. This is Aleister Crowley's Ordo Templi Orientis logo. And we'll get into some of the details of that later. But Lucifer rising ritual. Now you see here, participants, Lucifer and Horus are synonymous. They are together. Lucifer and Horus. And you can read all about that Lucifer rising ritual if you want. Lucifer rising and the use of the Egyptian pyramid. So that connection between Horus and Lucifer is solid. And now this is a satanic emblem, a Luciferian emblem, and you can see the similarities between this eye and the Egyptian eye, making that connection. 